Welcome to the Bisada Wada What? Podcast. <laughs> I'm saying it because we're light on. What? There's only three of us. But what did you say? The Bisada Wada, because we're missing a few people. So <laughs> I'm missing a few um, letters. Wow. The B-side word. Oh so because we're light on. So we're light on. <laughs> we are going to be speaking non-English. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my welcome to the b-side word we are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on I, interesting I articles don't think you, i don't think you can i am devon group. <laughs> i'm i am devon and i'm here with emma hello and i'm here with cj hello i i still don't think we're a group <laughs> we're a what uh not a trio yes yes or on the and, fast and, and, on the fast and, and furious and, and not really friends because you two are married yeah so you guys are spouses we're best friends so <laughs> your spouse is your best friend yeah how cute <laughs> <laughs> sorry i'm just trying to hold down the sandwich i before i felt to come back up oh my goodness <laughs> bloody hell uh. The best friends. <laughs> <laughs> so Maxie's away. Alexander's away. Uh, hopefully they'll be here next week. Hopefully they'll be here next week. Yes. After hearing this podcast about you guys being best friends, they might not be. <laughs> <laughs> CJ, one day you will find a best friend. No, you're his your best friend. I mean, female. He's oh, not, okay. I'm not. He didn't let me finish my sentence. I didn't. Want, I don't want him to hold me and caress me late at night. I don't want him to do Wait, that. What? That's what you do with your best friend. Why not? What? <laughs> what? Uh, I'm Big Spoon. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you can be the bowl. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, it's bad at the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mm. jumping straight into it. Mm. Okay, we had a Karen in a local Woolies, which for listeners, Woolies is the one of the supermarkets. So we had a Karen um, who was basically physical towards an elderly gentleman because she wanted his ushies. Okay, so for listeners, <laughs> ushies are what the supermarket gives away once you spend a certain amount and it's to entice the kids, to entice the parents to shop there so they collect these ushies. But they're and basically just pencil toppers <laughs> and some adults. They're basically squishy pencil toppers that you can just take on and off. I don't know. They like them. So this lady had just finished up her shop, $60, so she earned three ushies. So she didn't want them, so she offered them to us uh, – elderly lady that was behind her who declined so then she saw an elder old elderly gentleman behind her and he said yes um because he has grandchildren and thought that the grandchildren or his grandchild might like them okay so she gives him the ushies then the lady behind the elderly gentleman was like well what about my son so she said what about my son what, what do you mean that so she literally said, "What about my son? If you're giving them away, you should give some to him." What are you talking about? So the lady goes, "The ushies." Oh, I know, but that's not a law. So the lady goes, <laughs> "She goes, really?" He's, she's Is like, "That was stumped oh. you. It's not a law." Well, <laughs> yeah. So she said, "Yeah." Oh, he's a little old because her son's fourteen. Right? He's a little mm. old. I thought like. The younger kid, like you know, younger kids might want. You it don't more. have to justify your what you, why <laughs> yeah. you do stuff. Yeah. So then, if you're giving away, you don't have to justify. Yeah, why are you giving away to a certain person or not? Yeah, that's right. So then, the woman that was behind the elderly gentleman said, "Well, let's do a trade." Um, she, she wanted to trade the unopened ushies for some of her son's duplicates, and oh. then she took the duplicates out of her bag, which she was just carrying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the elderly gentleman was like, oh, no, no, thank you. Like, it's half the fun, isn't it? My grandchild will want to open the – and she was, and she just wouldn't take no for an answer. Yeah. And she offered again, like, she opened up the, the, the collectibles bag that she had with her. She was like, no, we'll trade. And he was like, no, sorry, they're for my grandkids. 
So she goes, just give me the damn things. <laughs> Right? This is apparently... And then it got physical. She lunged was, at him. It was you, wasn't it, Emma? She lunged at him, an yeah. elderly gentleman, and snatched them out of his cart. Um, and then the woman, which was watching all this, that had given away, had to grab the wrist, like grab her wrist to stop her from taking them from him. Yeah. And like it just turned into a big scuffle. Um, and, and everyone was like watching going, what the hell's going on? But this was over... Ushies. Ushies. Ushies is the new toilet paper. And her 14 year old boy. <laughs> I, I, uh, yeah. And, and on the subject, do they have Ushie boxes in your area? Yeah. No, I think they, um, Ushie boxes. Yeah. Like what the actual bo- collectible case thing. Yeah. No. Um, I don't, haven't seen any because the kids wanted one, but I haven't looked to be honest, but I think they've run out. I okay. think it's stopped now. Yeah. Because the everybody can get a box of, is probably Melbourne has to send it. That's insane. Why are you collecting Ushis? <laughs> what do you think this is? Uh, I, I don't know. Why are you asking for the box? <laughs> Can I ask a general question on the topic? You're collecting Ushis, aren't you? It's for a friend. <laughs> it's for a friend of mine. DJ. <laughs> <laughs> His name's AJ. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bold were middle you, legend. He's CJ, were legend you the man. old man? Were you the old man? <laughs> Bitch, one of my issues. <laughs> <laughs> oh. anyway, I just couldn't believe it. I'm well, just like, wow. Well, I have so many questions. Oh. And like, I have so many questions, but it's just going to go down to a serious path. But I just, I don't know. Like, anyways, it's not what? fair. No, it's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair that the this poor- gent, you offered it to them and not me. Oh, that's not fair. Yeah, that's what she was thinking, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not fair. I just thought, oh, the poor, the poor gentleman. Yeah, the old guy that wanted well, it for his grandchild. It wasn't in for him. Um, Siege, how far are you from uh, finishing your collection? <laughs> who said I have a? Who said I have a collection? Oh, I thought you just want. Why do you want the box? About nine away. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm, my goodness! Really, I'm getting those nine tomorrow. So. <laughs> Uh. Chadwick Boseman. Mm. You put this in, Dev. I did. It's actually, actually interesting. Actually, actually interesting. Is it? So, um, no. So, the movie that Chadwick Boseman did, which was Twenty One Bridges, Bridges, he really wanted. Sienna Miller yeah. to act alongside him. Yeah. So he approached her and asked her, would she do it? And um, I guess she was like, she just had a baby recently or she had young kids or something. Um, so she was like, mm, if, if the pay is right, I'll do it. Mm. But she was like a bit iffy about it. She was like, if I, if, if the pay is right, I will. So she, told the studio what she wanted and they wouldn't give her what she wanted. So Chadwick basically said to her, you deserve to be paid what you've asked for. I will give you some of my pay mm. to get you to that amount that you need. Yeah. So he basically bridged the gap. Bridges. 22. 20. He, was 20. A, he was a 22nd bridge. So she was basically just saying, I've never told anyone this, but I think it's worth telling because it describes the type of person that he was. And she said she'd never experienced, um, you know, what's the word? Generosity. Like that in her life. And she was just like, that's the type of person he was. He gave part of his pay to meet hers. At the same time, he shouldn't have to do that. That's the thing. So at the same time, it's like the salary gap is just so she she was like okay when when she got what was she asking for it doesn't say because like was she asking like he was getting a million on 1.5 and she was getting a million and she wanted 1.2 or something oh you want to see how much that he actually gave yeah. oh, i okay. want to see how much yeah just because um Acting, it's not like you're underpaid for what they do. 
I know, but like a leading lady doesn't get the same amount as a leading man. Yeah. That's yes. the whole point. And she was just like yeah, thinking... Yeah, she the she, same amount. Yeah. She, she really wanted the role, um, but she was like, do I, do I give up my m- morality or do I give up my self-worth just to take the role? This was... No, someone else talked about this. I think they... I can't remember who it was and it was with Broadway. Yeah. And it was like dream role i think it might have been sienna i'm not sure dream role sienna and- miller. Oh, oh you don't know sienna miller english I probably, actress i probably do yeah didn't she used to go out with jude law that's i know she is yeah <laughs> was that what you're gonna say yeah so is that the lady i used to go out with jude law yeah yeah <laughs> Um, so Chadwick really liked her as an actress. Like mm. he, he thought she was very talented, whatever. That's why he wanted her. Um, but yeah, she was just like, she had this one role and she was, she had to decide, does she go for it? Cause it was like her dream role on Broadway. But I think the pay was so like maybe a third of what the others were getting paid or something ridiculous. Yeah. And she was like, so do I do it or do I have more self-worth than that? It's a hard decision it's it's like yeah because i can't see it from her point of view because she has a name right i don't know how active she is in that industry so i don't know her her situation but like if for an up and coming you gotta eat shit for a while before you oh definitely you have to have but she's probably done her due she's she's had her paid her day dues. yeah she's paid her dues so like she probably deserves a certain like but it's not like that, right? Like, if you're hot in Hollywood, then they'll pay you. If you're not, if you've been away, they're not, are they? Or Broadway or whatever industry? Hollywood's quite sexist. So it says here, mm. th- this is from 2017, um, a comparison of the highest paid male and female actors revealed an average salary of $57.4 million for men. Mm. And twenty one point eight million for women. Oh, there is a massive gap, which is about thirty eight percent less than what the men were getting. Mm. F- first of all, I don't think the men should be getting what they're getting. Why? <laughs> That's a lot of money. Yeah. That's not per film. Oh, I thought it was per film. I was it like, it just said highest paid male and female actors. Yeah. yeah average yeah. salary. Yeah, yeah, that's not per film. That's okay. uh, that's for the year. Oh. Uh, I mean, I don't like, know how much. Fil- uh, I don't know how many films they're doing. Well, maybe one or two a year. Maybe. Jeez, that's a lot of money. It's a lot, right? Mm. Yeah, we're, we're in the wrong business. Yeah, but that's like it's like a pyramid, right? The acting like there's a lot of people at the bottom, and the top one percent have most of the money. Yeah, it's not like. Everyone's getting paid fifty-eight million. That's not how it works. It'll be like uh, Robert Downey Jr. and things, people like that. Yeah, De Niro. But, but you know De what I mean. Anymore. No, but back in the day, De Niro would have been yeah. in that one percent. Arnold Schwarzenegger would have been in that. Bruce Willis would have been there. One that, you know what I mean? They would have yeah. all been there. Stallone. Now most of them, they're part of the meat now of the of the pyramid. No, we're not in them. They're not in the top anymore, but they're not at the bottom. Yeah, but in the middle, the meat. Okay, if you're casting a role, the yeah. bottom is the dead person on the slab. Of, on the slab. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The actor playing the dead guy, that's the bottom. Of, of yeah. the totem pole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then uh, the nurse? Uh, <laughs> but go back, going back to Chadwood, right? Chadwick. Yeah. Like, you know when... Um, you, not usually, but like... It's sad to hear, like when like a famous person dies, right, and then you hear all the bad stuff that comes out afterwards. Mm. But Chadwick seems to be like he seems to get more, a yeah, a lot of uh, more stories come out of how how nice good of a person, he yeah, was. of how genuine yeah. he was, of uh, yeah. and how always he there was all there's more examples coming out of how he put other people before mm. himself, and. But- yeah. Again, if if you put it when you when you put in that situation, you probably have a different way of thinking. Yeah. What do you mean? Like his outlook on life was probably yeah. different to others around him. He's probably looking he at money like that. money's all the be on end all. 
Yeah, yeah but that's the, the the money's just not he's not thinking the money's for him anymore. He's thinking yeah. that he's setting up his family. So yeah, like he... like he's still like even though he's still like was still thinking that like he could be selfish. He could have been selfish at that moment and go, No, I gotta save this money to take care of my family. You know what I mean? Because mm. he knows that money's not everything. And he's not yeah. gonna be able to probably not gonna be able to see it or use it. Or, or yeah, spend it. Did he have any children? I'm not sure. Actually don't know. He seems like a very, very private man. Oh, I've been listening to this um, Filipino singer. Yeah, what's his name? Andy, I think it's Andy Garcia. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was he's not American. Filipino. I thought he's Filipino. Nah, he's not. He hangs around Filipinos. He's not. He's, he's not Filipino. Okay. South American. Okay, right? If he's not Filipino, he's got a lot of Filipino friends. Yes. He hangs around with a lot. And he's all, like, he. He uh, was on American Idol. Like maybe. 10 years ago. Yeah. Okay. But he's good. What? You, you just. You just saw him now. I just uh, I, I I listened to a couple of his songs. So, oh, this Filipino guy can sing. Yeah, he's not <laughs> Filipino. We loved him when it, when he was on that. Did show. Did you hear his version of Step Up? Yeah, that was his audition. That was thingy. his audition. Yeah, it was, it was a good man. He's a, he's a good Filipino singer. You idiot! <laughs> <laughs> he's a Filipino. He's not Filipino. Oh. All right. He's actually American. All right, that is a good but segue he, into where it, I want to get American into. Fi- is an American Filipino? Yeah. Let me see. I'm just on Wiki. No, he's not Filipino. No, I don't know if he's Filipino, but no. I want to see where he's, got, he's from. He's got, he's got too many Filipino friends to San not Diego. Be he's from San Diego. California. Oh, is he from California? And, he's from California. Um, and early life. Da, 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 da. Grew up in the Philippines. Doesn't say. Doesn't say. You know how they usually say his father was... Yeah, Why do you put heritage? Um, Oh, no. I thought it'd be in there, but it's not. I wanna, I wanna play you guys something. Oh. Ooh. Garcia sounds like. Oh. Oh no, that's the wrong person. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Since we're talking about Andy Garcia yeah. and how he's a good vo- uh, singer, I wanna, I wanna ask if you know who this is. Oh no. But I still need love because I'm just a man. Do we know this person? Oh, you, you definitely know him. I kind of know the voice. Let me see. I don't want you to leave. Can you hold my hand? Oh, won't you stay with me? Ken Dingle. Nah. Oh, that's pretty. No, he sounds black. Oh, he sounds black. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Is he not? Well, I don't know. You tell. <laughs> you tell me. And he sounds like a Was little larger. Keep talking. Tell me. Tell me what your thoughts Fat are. John. <laughs> Fat John. Are you t- are you just listing everyone that used to go to our school? Yes. <laughs> that I can, that I can remember. <laughs> and by the way, listeners, Fat John was flat. <laughs> it sounds like a little. It got meat on his body. Do, wait, can I do? You, do you rate his voice yes. as a good voice? CJ, yes. do you like his voice? No, because it's you, isn't it? No, it's not me. <laughs> But do you like his voice? Yes. No. Oh. Just being, yes, just I like a, it. Just being a prick. Um, <laughs> no, I hate his voice. <laughs> so, I hate it, so, I hate it, I hate it. So what this, it? like, um, I was surprised to hear who this was, right? But Can, can you, you give us another clue? Yeah. Um, well, I'm going to tell you. No, I want a clue. I've never heard his voice before. His normal singing voice before. So he doesn't usually because it was always T-Pain. altered. Yeah. Bullshit. Oh, it's T Pain. So I was right. 
great black man with a little yeah. bit of meat to I him. I just thought like I thought you were just like <laughs> oh he sounds like a black man and a bit of meat. I'm like how do you know that from the voice? Because you can hear it on the voice. Yes. <laughs> yeah. How does how does how does my voice sound? <laughs> no, you actually can though. No so you, lie. Are you telling me? Are you telling me if I uh, if I sound like if no one if someone sees hears me on the podcast they'll be able to go oh he's an Asian man. No. No. <laughs> but <laughs> they if, won't. I, for just some reason, killing me. you can tell the difference between black voices and non-black voices. Go How? test me. Pull some more. This. I don't Hang know. Hang on a sec. I want to get back into the T Pain thing. So Go. I've never heard him sing before. That was a and nice somewhere, voice. And somewhere along the line of his uh, career, they said, nah, you know what, bro? We're going to have to put some auto tune on there. <laughs> We're going to have to. Mm, mm, I don't know about your voice. Mm, you're good, like, li- like your lyrics. I like your lyrics, but mm, your voice. That's I don't know. interesting. And then he had to go on this um, The Mask Singer. So he was one of the mass singers. He won it. He won oh. the mass singer, which was crazy. It was just a year ago, so no spoilers. Bad luck. Oh. I, I, hold on. I guess there's no audition in mass singer. Otherwise, I would have caught it straight away. <laughs> yeah, they would have picked it up straight away. But like, you listen to this. There's like, <laughs> there was a lot of feeling in that. You know. So it's not. So the reason he used auto tune was yeah. because he wanted. It was a way of standing out early on. He said, I just wanted to be different. I, if I would have came in the game just using my voice, I would have been another singer. Really? Oh, I just would have been another singer. So he wanted to stand out. But he did stand out. He, no one knew what he looked like. The masked singer is the whole point. He's oh, yes, this his... one. But he's saying he probably wouldn't have got famous, as famous as he did or as successful oh, as he okay. did. Okay. Which is sad, <clears throat> right? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. He has got a lovely voice, doesn't he? He does. A really, really nice voice. Except for like two out of three of us think he's got a pretty cool voice. Yeah. The other <laughs> I, 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 I prefer the auto tune. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I've never watched The Mask Singer in Australia, and I think that's I, because I, I, I don't typically tend to know the the celebrities here. So, it yeah. wouldn't, but then I actually want to watch the US one. Yeah. Because you know um, a lot of them. Because I think there's one on at the moment. Because then, yeah, we're probably more likely to know him. Mm. So I'm going to get Funny thing is, I didn't know any of the celebrities in the Mars Mar- Singer in Australia either. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. It's just like. like they, they, were, they were mentioning celebrities. I'm like, is that a celebrity? I never heard of that person before <laughs> my life. <laughs> Are you impressed, Dev, that I knew that he had a bit of meat on his bones? Well. All right. Let's. Uh, let, uh, I'll play this. I'll play this. Right. I'm just saying, like, um. Uh, does does Ernest sound like he's got a bit of meat on his bones? No way. But I can sound like it. Listen to this guy. Don't be that way. Fall apart twice a day. I just wish. Fat John? I don't think he's black. Mm hmm. He's white. Is that what you want to know? No. I want to describe him. You you were very... No, I said between black and white. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? You gave... You said... You gave T-Pain... Oh, he's a bit of a larger man. He's a black <laughs> voice. And he likes the pop lock. He likes the... <laughs> <laughs> no, I said the black voice has a distinctive voice. But I think this guy's probably some sort of Asian or... Uh, yeah. Yeah. What else? Um, fairly youthful. Mm. Um, not big. Yeah. Um, just general average, like looking. Yeah. Athletically wise. Yeah. Gay. Pretty close. <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> He's Was gay. I? No, I don't think so. His sexual preference. Don't <laughs> know. He likes him young. Like what? 18. No, 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 not like a, a, a oh, young, young. I just want to clear that up. Not children. <laughs> <laughs> young in the sense of the legal age. <laughs> Got you. All right. I'm going to send the picture of what he looks like. Oh, okay. So this guy is called, his name is Teddy Swims. Oh. Hmm. 
Where did you send the picture? WhatsApp. Mm. Oh yeah. Why don't I have the picture? I don't know. Okay. He's 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 white with a beard. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it. Where's your phone? I don't know. He looks like um Bubba Sparks. Yeah. Bubba <laughs> Sparks. All right, one last one. Let's yeah. see if you can get this. See if I can... Uh... So I was wrong. Well... No, you were white. He was white. I didn't say white. Yeah, you did. You did say white. Yeah. What? This is the I last one. Fine. I don't even know how this is going to go, but anyways... That's enough. CJ's, CJ's. He's a black. He's a black man. Said he's a black man. I don't think he is. All right then. But I don't. I don't want to be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I feel like he's more like a Zayn Malik looking type. Yeah. Or like a Jonas Brothers looking type. Yeah. I still didn't get the other picture, mind you. So, come on. I, that's what I, that's oh, my Zang, answer. Zang, oh, sorry. All right, I'll send it. You were pretty, you are pretty on the mark. No. Uh, Emma. Emma. Yeah. I can't believe you can tell what someone like looks like by their voice. <laughs> this is wow. killing me. Can I see? I was black. <laughs> Definitely didn't sound black, but can I see? <sighs> oh, I'll have a look later. I'll have a look later. He's a white guy. Like, looks like a, like a um, half Filipino, half Asian, half white. Yeah, like a Zayn Malik. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that doesn't look like Zayn Malik. No, what I'm saying, he's not. He's not. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know he doesn't yeah, look mixed. like Zayn Malik, but that's the guy, the other guy. Ah, oh, okay. I can't believe, like, I re- like if you didn't know me and you heard me on the podcast, I don't think you'd think I was this guy. No, because you have a full Aussie accent. I don't have an Aussie accent. I have a a, a normal person <laughs> speaking of a English language accent. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. You, you got like a redneck Aussie accent. <laughs> yeah. I do not. I do not have a. You I do. do not. You I don't. do. <laughs> Actually, you should be married. You should be married to your own cousin. That's how fucking redneck your accent you have. Actually, actually, I don't. I don't. I don't. I your got... accent is that much of redneck, mate. You know, yeah. <laughs> mate. Your children uh, yeah. should be your nieces and nephews as well, mate. All right? Oh my god, <laughs> that's how redneck your accent is. Oh my god. I don't get it. Because they marry their own cousins. That's the like stereotype, oh, right? That's no. a stereotype. <laughs> I wanted to bring this up with Alexander and Maxi. Mm-hmm. I wanted to get like the full circle perspective of how people go about uh, attacking this subject, right? Mm-hmm. How well do you accept compliments? Not very well. CJ? It makes me feel uncomfortable. Yes. Yeah, same. How often... Do you give compliments? Quite a lot. CJ? Depends on if I'm trying to sleep with her or not. (laughs) (laughs) How about from the same sex? Like how many times do you give compliments to like um, a mate or um, a work colleague or... or... Depends on the situation. Depends if they got like a low self-esteem and they, they need the compliments to help them pop up. Also, if someone does something like a good job and he's got high confidence, you don't compliment him. Yeah, no. you don't. 
Ah, that's interesting. Because ah. they don't if need it, like, right? If they've got, they got like a low self-esteem, I'll try to help them out so they can feel better about themselves. So why do you think, why does it make you uncomfortable um, to receive compliments? Um, because, um, like if someone goes, oh, that's nice or whatever. You're like, you don't want to seem like you, like, uh, yeah, I know. Or you know. want to be humble. Yeah. What's that, what's that song? Be Humble. humble. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. called, uh, it's actually called um, yeah. I, I wanted to, you to sing a bit of the song It's, it, it, it's Kendrick Lamar yeah. Yes called, called Humble Alright yeah. How does it go? <laughs> it's got Humble in it <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> Hold on I, I, It's on my phone I, okay. I haven't heard it in a while so. and put it on No the, you were right Be humble Be humble Mm-mm. Be humble Sit down Is it be, sit down? But why does it, Why do you have to like Be humble Like well, why can't you just like accept the compliment? I don't know. Because and if you, also if you, you accept might... the compliments and you're too into it, you sound like a, you look like a douchebag. Arrogant, and also they might not be truthful. They might just be saying it because. Do you feel just like there's a lot of people nice. like that? Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. I can't. Uh, I can't put that on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was I was listening to a, a, another podcast and they were talking about how hold hard, on, hold on, you traitorous bastard. <laughs> how hard <laughs> it was for people to give compliments. To so give. yeah, to give compliments because like a compliment, like whether you think it's Me- fake or not, is a, is positive energy. Mm. And if you don't accept the compliment, it's like you're rejecting positive energy from people yeah like you so don't want to reject either so it's a bit awkward you that's want why to it's ap- awkward yeah that's why it's so hard to give compliments like for for example cj said that he only gives compliments to people that have low self-esteem because they have a lot of negative energy right mm-hmm. so cj is willing to give his positive energy and give it to that person oh that's lovely because that's all it is it's a transfer of energy right mm, so it takes i, like I never I, ne- I never i never thought of it in that way it, it yeah so whatever i am truly a nice person <laughs> 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 but like it's it's hard to give compliments it's not that easy to even if someone's like even if you think someone's being fake I find it he, easy to give compliments because you have a lot of positive I find it energy harder to accept it but you I you to have to you have to get that you have to like Anything that positive comes in your life, accept it. Don't like let it, don't like go to your head and like, I'm the best, I'm the best. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that when someone takes Why the not? time. Why aren't you saying I'm the best? Who? You. I say it in the morning. I'm the best. Is that, is that when you look in the mirror? I'm the best around. Nothing's going to keep me. Da, na, na, na. I don't know this song. Uh, karate you kid. made that up. <laughs> karate oh. Kid. <laughs> Um, but like um yeah so the positive uh compliments is a thing that we have to get comfortable with yeah i like because, it um and also you you know you said you it's, you find it easy mm-hmm. <sighs> okay i'll give I you a compliment find it Ernest. Easy. yeah your man boobs look wonderful in that shirt see <laughs> i find it really easy one they called the wonder bro like <laughs> How am I? <laughs> <laughs> it could be about anything. Like, could be their hair, their skin, their what that's a, something that they're that's wearing. A bit, that's a bit mean. You bringing up their hair <laughs> like, while I'm on this oh, podcast. I love your hair. Your hair's so lovely, beautiful. Wow! Stop lying. They're amazing. Or yeah. your skin is so refreshed. Because I, I don't know why is it um like a uh, uh, a uh, default for us to not accept. Why? I like I I'm I like because we probably in our own heads think we're not worthy of the compliment. Questioning their motivation towards it. You reckon it's that or we think we're not worthy of the compliment? Probably a bit of both. Yeah. Yeah. Because like yeah, like like when I when I meet girls I'm like, oh you got such pretty eyes. Sometimes I am actually lying. <laughs> 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 oh, so you're. So, oh, so the so, compliments. So, so, wait, some, wait. I've figured it out. Some ladies that I've said have got pretty smiles. Yeah, your smiles weren't that pretty. 
Oh. Is that why we think compliments are... Because you don't give compliments that are false. I don't, I don't fake my compliments. Yeah. So maybe CJ thinks people give fake compliments to him because he gives fake compliments back. Is but that there why? are some like girls, like let's say someone gives you one, then you, you have to give one back, let's say. So you'd hear that like, let's say they go... That's not oh. a real compliment. No, exactly. That's oh. what I'm talking about. They'll like, be like, oh my God, you're... you look so amazing. Who talks like that? Who talks like that? Why did and girls? Yeah, yeah, why? Why all What kind of girls are you meeting? Yeah, you don't know they anyone that sounds like, like they that. should be illegally blonde. Uh, you don't meet them. <laughs> and then they go, "Oh, so do you, huh?" Uh, so wait, Look you're basing you're basing your High whole heels. whole premise of girls on TV premise of, of compliments. Of being girls. Yeah. No. Of like, no, um, no, I just said Alicia there's Silverstone. Like, there's, there's Silverstone. <laughs> What's her name? I said there's Silverstone. some Clueless. people, yeah, that do, do those types some of people, compliments. Some people, some people, some people, yeah. But no, 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 but some people can give you a compliment <laughs> and make it sound like they're giving you a compliment, but, but it's a back, really not. It's a backhanded yeah. comment. They call that a backhanded yeah. comment, right? I don't like that. Yeah, no, me neither. I don't like that. No, I, 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 I like. I realize there's a lot of people that. Like for me too, that have that defensive mechanism up, right? And like recently, I'm like, I show people that I'm happy, I'm okay with getting shot down. So like, uh, like the whole being vulnerable mm. in front of people, and they think that's a weakness, right? But really, it's like you can you can attack me. I'm okay with that. No worries, because I know who I am as a person. I just see it when I'm when they get attacked, how defensive they get, and how much it stops stops people from actually accepting compliments and giving compliments and being who they they want to be. I don't know. I don't know if it's. I just went too philosophical there. But so, like, see, in my brain, I'm thinking, what do they want from me? Why are they trying to butter me up? Ah, uh... yeah, yeah. That's why I keep I keep CJ around. Because, like, if why? I give it... Hold on, you keep me around? <laughs> what the fuck am I? A, no, a poodle? No, no. I mean, that's why I'm friends with CJ. That's why I'm friends Fucking with CJ. hell, keep because, me around. <laughs> because what? every time, like, if I go to CJ and I give him a scenario, right? So I have a certain way of thinking and I give... If I say, CJ, oh, this is what's happening. And CJ will go, hmm... I don't know about this, brother. Because <laughs> like, I know he doesn't speak in that voice. That you don't know how he speaks. Wait, what? Because he's a mystery man. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget my voice See? like this. <laughs> I don't know about this, brother. I don't, I don't know about this, brother. See? Oh, you're trying see? to see. See back in the day, see? You <laughs> said, we, we, uh, sorry, I'll get me a bottle of whiskey. You say, <laughs> you scumbag. You say, wise guy. She. <laughs> Teach you a lesson, you guys. You guys. Um, but yeah, I just uh, I was listening, mm. and they, I think I think in America, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we won't go into that. But like compliments, compliments are weird. Compliments are weird because you want to be acknowledged. Well, now it's the whole I appreciate you. What's that? What? That that seems that to it? be the new thing. I appreciate you. I, I appreciate you. You, you know I, that I really you said, you, brother. But you know, have, so they, you, have they have they made compliments PC now? No, I, I pre- no, 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 no. As in, like, PC. I appreciate you as your your energy, your being, your. I appreciate you. When wh- did whatever. that start? When did that start? I just saw it recently. Okay, so can I tell you something? Two years ago, I read a book. I read a book, and it said that go up to Congratulations. someone, go, go go up to someone, and say you appreciate them, right? And I think it was two years ago, right? And I said that to a few people and they... Was it the, was it the secret? No, no, it wasn't the secret. And then okay. the person that I said it to, not not verbally not uh, verbally freaked out, but his eyes... Was it me? Were, ...was shocked. It was <laughs> shocked. Well, like... I guess because I never used that language. I haven't used that language before. But, like, I was in this period where I was like, you know what, i got to give back. i got to give this energy back to people. I'm just absorbing too much energy. Like, it's just, it's negative energy what I'm putting out there. So I said, you know what, I'm going to go tell people how much they mean to me. In the people, people in my life, right? And I said, I appreciate you, right? And I said this ages ago, ages ago, before all this thing. I'm not saying I'm a trendsetter or anything because the, <laughs> the book is like 20 years old. So it's yeah. been telling people for a long time to be... To show appreciation to people. But the look on people's faces when I say to them, you know what? Thank you. Thank you for your, thank you for being around. Right. They're like, 
the hell is wrong with you? You know what I mean? It's like, it's like some people, and I realize some people you don't need to say that to because you know, you have this understanding between people. You have this like, you know, we're brothers. You don't need to say it. You know what I mean? But there's some people that like really took it to heart. When I told them, they were like, thank you. Like, it was something that they needed to hear. That's nice. Because how much, like, the news is filled with, like, crap. Like, the social media always makes you feel self-conscious. Yeah. And it's like, it, the, 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 like, what's out there, it, there's, la- there's, there's a lack of, like... Um, empathy. Is it empathy or just... Yeah, empathy. Empathy and um, uh, compassion and all that kind of stuff. It, it, it just it, it lacks... There's a lot of lackness in the world. I like it. I like that I appreciate you. <laughs> I like the That's way nice. you use the word lack. <laughs> like like yeah, you no. were truly trying to find another word, love, weren't you? I appreciate it. I, I right could now, hear it Dave. in your head. Your brain was going, another word for lack, another word for lack, another word for lack. <laughs> oh, shit. I've only got lack. Uh, lackness. <laughs> I appreciate the ridge on your nose right there, right now. Why? So nice. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm self-conscious. <laughs> I'm gonna talk like this from now on. You so actually you sound better. Why? Huh? He sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, mate. So yeah, I feel sorry for the young, younger generation. To be Why? honest with you, they're Why? growing up seeing pictures of people which are unrealistic. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like That's young a girls, whole different story though. Like like girl, young girls these days, like the women they are seeing in magazines, they're not real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely there's, not. There's more plastic in them than the magazine. It's not even the plastic. Sometimes it's just Photoshop. Yeah, filters. It's Photoshop. not even. It's not even plastic surgery or anything. And like with these apps that they're taking pictures of themselves and they can change their faces and yeah. all that. Mm. That shouldn't be for a certain age. Mm. Mm-hmm. You're going to get young kids straight away looking at themselves in that kind of way. Yeah. yeah. I it's think unhealthy. there was a new thing with Instagram maybe where they have to specify if they've used a filter or something now. Mm. Like celebrities or something. Oh, yeah, that's right. We talked about you that said, last mm-hmm. week. It's not healthy for the younger generation. And, and let's be honest, they're, they're quite sensitive as it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they can't even win and lose a game. Because it upset their feelings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, that's my middle child. Your middle child. He hates to lose. Oh, yeah, does he, he hate to lose? To lose. But that's but a, to, I think I think that'll fuel his to, fire. You have to learn how to lose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And unless he loses, he's not going to lose. He loses a lot. No, no, he loses, but he hates it. Like that's hates. It's good. It. It's good to hate to lose. You should. You, sh- you shouldn't love losing. Hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's right. Yeah, like no, if you, if you, lo- he shouldn't, if you he shouldn't. If you love, love losing, losing, you're not going to succeed. He shouldn't enough. love losing, but he needs to. Uh, he he will cheat to win. Yeah, so would I. Don't and, I. and also, <laughs> he he can't just throw a hissy fit if he loses. Like he's got to learn to control that. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> well, I mean, he could, but he's not gonna. He's not gonna have many games because no one will want to play with him. L- Let's be honest. It's good. He's showing already. He's willing to go outside the rules <laughs> to succeed. I don't really like that as a mum. I think. Uh, but I, think I get CJ, what you, I get what you see. Like, I think like there's a to, point with what CJ is saying. No, I get what he's, you He's willing to color out the lines a little bit. Yeah, I get what so you're saying. To, yeah. to get to his goal. Sometimes he um, colors other people's pictures. That's the problem. That's all right. Yeah, like <laughs> lying. I've, co- I, I've colored a lot of people's pictures over the years. <laughs> <laughs> Lying does show a certain amount of intelligence, but you don't particularly want it. But yeah, but so yeah. is he lying? No. Well, he's cheating, isn't he? But yeah. that's right. Like, uh, what sense of cheating? Whatever to to make him win. I don't know. Like, what is he doing to cheat? Is he holding the other guy's shorts as they're running? Oh, he'll do that too. I, I've done that. <laughs> I think he'll do that too. Yeah. But yeah, I threatened the guy beside me. Oh, goodness. Hey. All right. Well, guys, that was another week for the podcast. Yeah. Next week, hopefully, we'll have a, a full house or one more at least. And if you have any articles that you want to bring to the table, then comment or send us a message or an email at the B-side word at gmail.com. But for now, that's it.
Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. No, thank you. And thank Ciao. you, CJ. And we appreciate you. We appreciate you. Oh, uh, wh- what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> see ya. See ya. See ya. See you guys. See you. See you. Wise guys, eh? Wise guys. CJ, I'm going because I'm going to go feed the kids. All right. You going to buy a Zinger Burger? Yeah, get your one of you too.